I feel, first of all, a progress report on the injury. How things are coming along? Yeah, it's coming on slowly but good. Um, like I said, I've just been, obviously, been on my crutches for four weeks and that, just taking my time and I've been off them for a couple of weeks now. So just getting around day to day, like walking and things like that, it's coming on very well and like strengthening it and getting on the bike. So yeah, it's coming on, coming on very well so far. It must have been a big bonus to, you to get rid of those crutches. Yeah, definitely. I've been on them for, for a long time and that for six weeks it was. And obviously, um, to get rid of them was, was good. I couldn't drive, I couldn't get around and things like that. But um, obviously, like now I've got rid of them. Um, just step by step and um, just keep keep working at it, really. Yeah. you got your life back. So what, what happens from here? Yeah, what happens from here now is um, obviously I can drive and get about a bit now. Just working on like the strength in my in my right thigh, just getting the muscle built up again and just getting the control again, really. And um, hopefully I can, obviously, once I get that, and then I'll be able to start start my jogging and things like that. It's my sure. Is it at the moment? Is it just working in the gym? Is it? Yeah, it's just working in the gym, getting like the stability back, really building up back up the muscle, and just getting getting it back to getting it back to just normal day to day stuff, really. Yeah. And you're looking forward to obviously a uh, hard working summer. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, um, I'm going to be working a lot over the summer, which I want to get myself right ready for next season. So, I'm not really too fussed. I just want to get myself ready. So, whatever I got to do and whatever it takes, really. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back back out there on the pitch. You booked no holidays then? No, nothing's been booked at the minute, but the physios and everything, the club's been fantastic and they, they obviously want me to get away and things like that over the summer. So um, I'm going to talk, talk, um, talk to them, we're going to arrange something because they don't want me in every day over the summer, obviously, so it'll be a bit stressful. But they want me to obviously work, which I'm going to be doing, and get away, give me a few days off here and there and get a chance to get away and have a have a break, get myself obviously rested up and that and come back and just get back at it again. Yeah. I think Forest fans realistically are hoping that you're gonna be fit for the start of next season. Do you see that as a target? Yeah definitely that's my target for um, next season. Um obviously in June I'll be looking things going well to obviously start my running and things like that. And obviously in July when the boys are back for pre season, um get involved as much as I can possible and just like I say uh, once I start running and things like that, I know where I am and just getting the strength back up and, yeah, be ready for next season. Mm. So far, so good then. Just, yeah. um, obviously, off the field, with your injury and one thing, it's yeah. given you the opportunity to concentrate on one or two other things. Yeah. Uh, if we can talk about your possibility of the Community Award, which you were in yeah. London this week, yeah. got pretty close with that one. That must have given you yeah. a bit of pleasure. Yeah, definitely. I went down there. Um, it was nice to be, obviously, up for a nomination and that in itself was, was quite good. And, yeah, I just we all went down there. It was just... Nice to see that bit of recognition for for um, what everyone does, like footballers and obviously myself, just back in the community because we're obviously always in the, the headlines for the wrong things really and it's nice for, um, for awards like this just to show obviously that there is people like myself and um, putting um, bits and bobs back into the community. Mm. It's given you a lot of satisfaction to help out a few lads who might otherwise have got themselves into a bit of trouble. Yeah, definitely. Um, if I can obviously make that change and just let, let people see that, um, out of life you can just obviously do good and if I can just change one person and make sure that every, some, someone to look up to really in the community myself because I used to look up to people and in, in today's um, environment there's a lot of wrong role models and if I could be a good role model for a lot of people in my community then that, that's a good thing. Must give you a kick to do that? Yeah definitely it's nice to um, obviously be a role model and I'm, not, I'm obviously I'm not no angel myself but um, everyone makes mistakes in life and but really just trying to help people make the right make the right choice in life and make the right decisions at the right time. Yeah. If we can move on from there you've got another challenge awaiting you in Africa not yeah. many people know that you're this but you're uh, off to Africa on the Balls to Poverty Appeal which is something else close to your heart. Yeah definitely I'll be going out there um, for a couple of weeks um, with the Balls to Poverty campaign and that's going to be obviously a life-changing experience. There's, there's people from the Unity programme, people from the college. We're going to be going over there, um, obviously helping out over there, distributing um, thousands of footballs, thousands of rugby balls. Obviously, we're in well, people from the rugby club are coming over as well. And we're just going over there really to just help people change their lives. And it's going to be a life-changing um, effect for both people, people over there and for us as well. And we're going to be going over there um, building football pitches, painting fences, just helping out as much as we can in the community and just giving giving a bit back really and just um, obviously helping out as much as we can and when 
when we come back from there, the kids that, that are going over there are going to just realise it's going to have a big effect on their lives and it's going to change them in a good way. Really, it's a well-established campaign. It's been going for a number of years, but it's yeah. the first time that an actual footballer like yourself has joined yeah. in and uh, got the hands dirty with it, so to speak. Yeah, um, obviously with my injury at, at the, the moment, it gives me a chance to go over there and help out as much as I can. And, but yeah, it's the first time, um, obviously, a footballer's obviously gone out there. I'm going to be limited to as like obviously running around, kicking and playing football with the kids as much as I'd wanted to. But um, I'm going to help out as much as I can. And like I said, yeah, it's the first time really um, someone like myself has been involved and it's, a, it's an honour to be fair. Smashing. Just finally, give yourself a bit of an, uh, an advert. You've just uh, about to launch the Julian Bennett website, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, julianbennett.com. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. that's, um, that's going to be up and running soon as well. Obviously, help from the club and whatnot. So when I'm out in South Africa and, and if, obviously keep everyone up to date really what's happening over there and of um, the Boston Barbie campaign they've got a, they've got their own website as well so you, I've got all the links and everything on there and just be able to see what, what I'm doing really. Yeah. Is this something website. you've always fancied doing that yourself? Oh, what's that? My the website? website? Yeah, it's obviously, yeah I haven't really thought much about it but um, Amy has been great she's uh, she sorted it out and that and um, obviously with th things and bits and bobs I've been doing it's got a bit more time and really just obviously showing, um, gives the opportunity, the platform to just let people see what, what's really happening with myself, really. But in a few months' time, you'd be hoping they'll be reading things on a football front? Yeah, definitely. I, that's my main aim, really, and I just want to get back as um, soon as possible. Obviously, it's a, it's a long process, but I'm just going to take, take my time, make sure I'm right, and I'll definitely be back. That's where I want to be, back out there on the pitch.